if we're going to break this cycle of violence to truly erase bullying uh, and create a more deeply caring uh, environment for in our homes, our schools, and our communities, we basically have to do three things. One is to walk our talk and talk our walk. We have to say it, mean it, and follow through with it. We have to give our children uh, the opportunity to see us standing up for values and against injustices. That when people are being mean and cruel, that we call them on it. That we ourselves uh, don't treat others with disdain or contempt. So walk it and talk it would be it, and teaching kids that. Um, and you have to be taught to hate, so uh, let us not be role models for that in any way. The second, we have to give our kids the opportunities to make choices and decisions and mistakes that are age appropriate and ability appropriate. Children who are able to make their own decisions, who realize the consequences for their actions, uh, are more likely not to be the bully, the target, or the not-so-innocent bystanders. They are far more likely to be a fourth character, that witness, resistor, and defender, that kid willing to stand up for another child who's being ostracized or tormented by others where they're getting pleasure from that child's pain. Um, and then the third thing we need to do is work against the three most virulent agents ripping apart the fabric of our humanity. Hating other human beings with utter contempt, hoarding that me, mine, and more mindset instead of us, ours, and enough, and harming with lying and cheating and stealing. Uh, so what would be the antidotes? Care deeply, share generously, and help willingly. If every single day, every one of us in our communities can care more deeply about one another, and I don't mean liking one another. I say to students, you don't have to like every kid in this classroom, but you must honor their humanity and care so deeply about them, the must to relieve their suffering and wishing them well. To share generously of the gifts, Martin Buber said, I am I and you are thou. In bullying, I make you an it. We must never let others make anyone into an it. That we embrace our uniqueness and, and celebrate our interdependence and our interconnectedness and our interrelatedness. So care deeply, share generously, and help willingly. A, a great Canadian uh, said, do good, James Natchway, do good because good is good to do. And the more good we can do for one another, the better it will serve all of us. And if we are ever going to break this cycle of violence, we have to say, I can make that difference.